It's Jack and welcome back to another video. So if you hear a knocking outside, it's someone doing construction or some shit, but they just decided to do it right when I start filming, so that's great. I have no makeup on, no brows, I am naked, please don't judge me. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We're on the road to 15,000. If we could hit that before summer, that would be amazing. So today's video is me explaining to you guys why I went to the hospital. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that a couple of days ago I was admitted to hospital and I only got released yesterday. I was gonna film a video yesterday, but I was way too tired and I just couldn't do it and I was just trying to rest and trying to sleep and trying to get everything, just kind of clear the brain and not focus on anything but myself for like at least a day. <laughs> so that's what I did, but I'm filming the video for you today and I'm uploading it for you today so you know what happened. So for those of you who are new to my channel, if you did not know, I'm FTM transgender. Now you're probably wondering what the fuck that has to do with me going to the hospital. Let me explain. I am also in an all-girl Catholic school, which I am very supportive of the fact that I am indeed trans in an all-girl Catholic school. So lately there's been a lot of kind of battling and back and forth at each other with me, my mom, and the school. Don't get me wrong, most of the staff and most of the people in the school are super supportive, my friends are super supportive, the students don't really give me any hassle, I don't ever get bullied for it. But there was the fact that the teachers had a choice. Now, the principal gave me the option to wear trousers. In, an, like, in exchange for that, the teachers were allowed to have a choice to call me Jack or not. Which at first, I was like, yeah, that's cool. I don't mind that at all. But that was the biggest mis mistake I could have made. Because now some teachers call me Jack, some teachers call me birth name, and it's not the nicest feeling in the world because I feel like some teachers respect me, some teachers don't, and it was just, it was really bad. It wasn't a good place to be. So this went on for a couple of weeks till the point where it stressed me out so much and I had so much anxiety about it that I collapsed on Thursday night. I was in the sit room or living room or whatever you call it, wherever you're from, the place where you sit down and watch TV with your family. I was in that room with my girlfriend and basically what happened was we were messing with each other. I literally had her pinned down, not even in a kinky way, I had her pinned down and I started to lose my strength. My eyes started rolling and I couldn't respond to anyone. My brother had to come in because my girlfriend thought I had fainted. Thankfully, I didn't go unconscious, but it wasn't the best situation at all. I didn't fully collapse, so I didn't go unconscious, which was good, but I still couldn't respond to anyone. And when I came back around, I developed a stutter. So I couldn't form a sentence without stuttering or stammering over my words, which really, really freaked my mom out. So she rushed home from work, my sister rushed home from her boyfriend's, and I was sent into hospital. I was in the waiting room for seven and a half hours and then I was seen to by a doctor. I waited another five hours to thinking I was going home because they said I seemed fine and they thought it was just a bad anxiety slash panic attack. But then I was admitted to a ward and they told me that all of this was due to stress. I was released yesterday, thank God, because they said there was nothing wrong neurologically. So my brain is good, thank, thank, thank. I don't believe in anything, so I'm like, thank. But um, they said I was fine to go home, but I needed to chill out and calm down. But the reason I was in hospital was because I had a really bad anxiety attack and I it was due from stress from my school and everything going on in my life right now. But this isn't me making a video to get pity or get people feel sorry for me. It's just to explain that the life I have, you guys may find it that, oh my god, he's a YouTuber, oh my god, he's so many followers, or oh my god, he has this big platform, whatever. It's not easy trying to keep up with this and keep up with my own life. This doesn't mean that I'm quitting YouTube, Jesus Christ, that's sounding like where I was going. I'm just trying to focus on so much right now, and you guys are my backbone and my rock, and I love you with every part of my soul and being, and this is just for me to say thank you for always, you know, boosting me with your comments and leaving nice little comments on my Instagram and sending messages on Snapchat and posting comments down here. It just, it means the absolute world to me. And without you guys, I'd probably still be in hospital or I would have been in hospital even sooner. So I'm gonna start posting a lot more for you guys or I'm gonna try to at least, but I want you guys to tell me, please tell me what you want me to do. Is it tips videos? Is it advice videos? Do you want me to do funny videos, messing videos, DIY videos? I don't know what you guys wanna see, so you guys need to tell me. So yeah, that's why I was in hospital. But I'm good now, I've been sent home, I'm G, I feel fine, so don't be worrying about me, I'm okay. We're finito. So that's it for this video, guys. I love you all so much, and stay safe, stay well, don't stress, be calm. I thought of a quote the other day that I was really proud of, and I'm gonna say it to you guys now. 
All I'm trying to do is keep my head above water. It doesn't mean that I'm swimming, but I'm not gonna let myself drown. And you guys should do the same too. Even though you may feel like you're drowning, just keep your head above water. You don't need to swim, just don't let yourself drown, okay? Because we're all gonna get life jackets eventually, and we're all gonna get where we need to go. So we just gotta stay calm. My friend Monica would say, because she's from Italy and can't pronounce English, keep calm, tranquilo, tranquila. Just calm, okay? Everybody needs to chill. So as usual, I love you all so much, and I hope you had a trans-tastic day, or a cis-tastic day, or a you-tastic day. And I'll see all you beautiful people very, very, very soon. Bye!